So I've always been used to camping in a temperate climate, warm, wet summers and cold, wet winters. So when I came to this semi-arid island, I had a bit to learn. A friend of mine asked me if I prefer camping in the freezing highland winters or on this sun-trapped island. And uh, it's a tough one to call. The difference is when you're cold, you can warm up, but when you're hot, it's a lot harder to cool down. The freezing temperatures of the Scottish winters rapidly drain the batteries, uh, but the high temperatures of this preheated oven actually disable my cameras and they won't allow me to use them until they cool down. So a few pros and cons with the differences, uh, but this video is what I've learned about camping in the desert so far. We have a mentality in the UK where everything needs to be done now. Go, 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 rat race. Here, life is slow in these places and there's a reason for that. So hiking should be slow also. Take your time, get plenty of shade and take in rest. I had to do a little adjusting because I was always go, 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 let's get there. Uh, if I did that now and I was of that same mind state, I'd be toast within 10 minutes. Speaking of toast. Everything is seriously dry. A single spark could just ignite this whole place. And so fires are prohibited. Opt for a gas stove instead. See, it's hard to keep your water cold out here. It's impossible to keep your water cold out here. So it does come to a boil really quick. Uh, so bonus, save gas. There have been wildfires out here that has wiped out entire mountainsides worth of forests. So it's best just not to mess with the fires. Um, furthermore, if the forest guard catches you, he's gonna give you a, a good telling off uh, and probably give you the boot as well. Keep your head covered. Bandana, hat, snood, whatever the case, keep your head and the back of your neck covered. Use lightweight, long sleeved t-shirts and failing that, use sunscreen, reapply and reapply. Utilize any shade you can find. And if you can't find any shade, make some shade. Where I come from, we use a tarp for the rain. Out here, use a tarp for the sun. Time for a water break. A water break with mama. Mama. Need some water. So, the source of all life. Water, water everywhere, so let's all have a drink. It's not. So make sure you have plenty of it. When it comes to survival videos, we'll take a closer look at the water side of things, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about camping. So pack everything you can, all your gear as light as possible because you're gonna be making up for that weight with all the water you carry. They reckon for areas like this, you'll wanna be packing a good four liters because it will all go. I pack five, including a one liter water bladder in my pack and it still all goes. And actually, I never used a water bladder until I got here, but genius. To be able to be on the move and just take those sips of water whenever you uh, it is required without putting a pack down, perfect. Furthermore, if you have pets, carry more water. There's not an awful lot of dangerous predators here, but there is one and it is definitely not her. That one comes in the form of a snake, the blunt nosed viper or Lebanese viper. A single strike from one of those bad boys will have you seeking immediate medical attention because if you do not, you will uh, become unalived. A permanent siesta. And there's also plenty of other snakes and spiders here and whatnot, uh, but the blunt nosed viper, see that one? Give it a wide berth. With 320 days of sun, you can actually use soda power. Back in the UK, I used to think they were kind of gimmicky. They just wouldn't work, right? Uh, you know, the LED would pop on to say it's charging, your phone would say it's charging or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's just 
that's pretty much as standard as it got. Before I left, I purchased a Flex Solar Portable Charger. And remember, by taking things slow, I can place that in the sun while I sit in the shade and have my devices charged. Now, they're still not perfect. It's going to take a good four to five hours for a full charge. But if I'm sitting at camp, uh, then I'm at camp. I can leave my device in the sun charging and I've got full charge for the rest of the day. Store your food, pots, pans, cutlery away. Never leave it outside your tent because the ants are relentless here. And these aren't small ants, these are big boys. I left my Stanley cook set out overnight and when I went to make my coffee in the morning, Ants. Lesson learned. It's certainly a somewhat strange place. Uh, generally, in this day and age, you can rely on Google Maps and Apple Maps. You cannot rely on that here. I was following the maps to a road that ran through the forest, a little shortcut. Um, but when, obviously, I got there, it was basically a part of the forest, just an overgrown part of the forest, no longer a road. Furthermore, military bases aren't greatly signposted. There's been an occasion where I've walked up to a barricade of the military area, except I've been on the wrong side of it, approached by three guards with guns, very little English. And yeah, that was a uh, the anxiety. But um, Google Maps. It's only rained once since I've been here, but it was super nice, super refreshing. No waterproofs, right? You don't need them. Because by the time that... Hiking boots, you need hiking boots. By the time that downpour had finished, sun came back out and you're dry within the next five minutes. So, basically, <laughs> basically enjoy the little downpours you do get. Pack a well-ventilated tent. The Van Gogh 100 is not a well-ventilated tent. From the hours of 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., it is basically no longer a tent, it is an oven. I'll get into that more in a later video, but for now, if I'm not using my hammock, I'm using a cheap old, big old dome tent with huge mesh doors allowing so much airflow. So there you have it. That's 10 things I've learned from camping in the desert so far. A temperate climate is a lot more forgiving, but we do like ourselves a challenge now, don't we? Yeah, if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already yet, but you really want to, then please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Good girl.